RMC is supported by MonsterJoysticks.com. Level up your retro gaming with their joysticks featuring genuine Sanwar arcade parts. And OneClickPrint.com for your photos on canvas, acrylic, gifts and more. Local craftsmen and global delivery. Hello cave dwellers, welcome to the cave. We're about to jump in the car and go to Swag today for our retro road trip. Swag being the fabulously named Southwest Amiga Group. A user group primarily of Amiga users, or we, although we do get other computers come along to these meetups. And I want to show you it not just because it's such a great meetup filled with wonderful people and amazing machines. We get to see things like the Amiga 1000, like the CDTV, like Amigas that I never normally get to lay my hands on. But also we're going to consider looking at it as a reflection of the state of user groups on the whole up and down the country because there really is a resurgence for this kind of thing. So let's talk, let's jump in the car, let me show you what it's all about and uh, we'll meet back here afterwards and uh, conclude how the day went. My name is um, Dave Rowland and I am uh, one of the SWAG organizers. Um, this is now our 10th meet. We, we, we hold this, uh, this meet sort of three times a year and uh, we, we have a website called southwestamiga.org.uk. We're also quite active on the uh, Facebooks and the Twitters. Today has been good. We've had, what, about 50 people here. I would say we're probably increasing about 10% every time we have a meet. And a lot of Amigas, well, when you turn them on, they don't work. And, they, and we need people like Neil to have a look at the Amiga <laughs> and uh, see, if, see what's wrong with them and get working again. But also here, we, we've been this, fortunate this time to be sponsored by RetroBench. And, uh, we're doing recapping and refreshing and bringing the Amigas back to life. So um, we're very fortunate to have sponsors to these meets. But the, mo the main thing is with um, the swag meets is everyone comes and enjoys themselves and um, whether they either bring their children along or family along and um, just share what we used to play or what we used to do. We've had all sorts of people here from video editing to to animators. Today we've got Chris Poacher here showing um, how to put together music tracks in Pro Tracker. My favorite machine here today has to be the CDTV, which was um, put into a case which was used for, the idea was for the home market, music systems, that sort of thing, but it wasn't the right direction for Commodore. So, um, it's still a great machine and um, it's good to see them out there and, and they come quite collectible now. Keep your eyes peeled through the websites uh, southwestamiga.org.uk and um, we look forward to seeing you here in the future. <laughs> Hi there, I'm uh, Chris Forrester. I've uh, been coming to SWAG now for over a year and uh, today I brought um, my old uh, animation light box and um, demonstrating to Neil how he used to line test uh, all the drawings back in the day. Uh, got some animation of Felix the Cat from a studio I used to work for. The light box is where we would do the drawings and you could stack the pictures up and because the light's coming through you get to see all the um, different layers of uh, animation and um, makes it easier to work out how you're going to do the in-between. Software is uh, 
streamlining the process that used to be done on film, where they would shoot each picture individually, um, and then would have to wait uh, for the film process to come back and see if it looked okay. Whereas now, uh, they would use the camera, capture it, and then they could interactively uh, retime it. So this is scene five from Felix the Cat. Uh, this was on TV, I think not too long ago, called Soup. Uh, if I hit Flipper, you can see what I captured already. And this would be loaded on a, a computer and then coloured later. Hi, I'm Lee. Uh, so I'm here at Southwest Amiga Group. Um, this is my first time here. I've been uh, been really into Amigas for the last sort of 20 odd years off and on um, and uh, I brought my Amiga 4000 here today uh, it's uh, just come back from uh, being recapped um, as, as anybody who uh, knows anything about Amigas recapping is uh, obviously one of the first things you do with a with a with a computer of this age uh, and sort of with uh, with help from, from the guys around here we're gonna get it back up up and running um, probably put OS 3.9 on it um, and, um, and see how it goes. Uh, it's also got uh, the mediator card in there, it's got the radio on uh, 9200, uh, it's got USB so it's, it's a very modern in inverted commas uh, machine. Hello, my name's Ethan and this is my first time at SWAG, the retro community where we all talk about Amigas. And I really think this place really is amazing. I love playing around with Amigas and just doing my own thing. And I make videos at my own on my own channel. <laughs> At, and my link should be in the description. And my channel was called Cats and Nine Lives YT. And it would be, I would really appreciate if you subscribed. And I might be starting a channel with my dad called The Retro Boys. And in future, we will be making really good videos about this Amiga, retro writing it, maybe fixing other computers. We're gonna do a build of another computer, maybe. And thank you for listening to what I said. Bye. Done? Yeah. Go and subscribe. Yeah. <laughs>to to recover it's connected to a serial port on the back of the Amiga there's a little like a dongle that converts the video signal into something the Amiga can understand through the serial port uh, when you're doing the actual backup it just uses the standard black and white composite out on the far left side and the actual thing is that that's all it is so this is a recording basically of the composite output from the Amiga. So you, you might be able to see it, it's a bit small, but that's me. Yeah, that's, that was literally me setting the backup up on the Amiga uh, from the composite port, so a A590 backup. Yeah. And then you can obviously, you can pick which files you do or don't want, which is, I thought it was quite advanced for the Amiga at the time, really. But.
Hey there everybody, I'm Vicky, or some of you may know me as Pixel Vixen on YouTube. Um, I've been coming to Swag actually for quite a bit longer than actually the, the modern meetings have been going for. Um, I first started coming to Swag back in the late 90s when we used to meet in uh, uh, various pubs or a pub here in the outskirts of Bristol. Um, so it's changed quite a bit actually uh, since those days. Admittedly, um, I've not been back in the Amiga scene until last year, so I haven't been attending Swag for uh, 20 years years as, as it were um, but yeah definitely different I mean to come here with all of people's kit I mean here I've got my Amiga 600 and uh, basically you see around you CD TVs 1200s CD 32s Amiga 1000s and even systems that aren't the Amiga that we're just passionate about like I brought my PC engine here because who doesn't love a PC engine so so what I do with the Amiga? Well, I do pixel art and animation. That's my real thing. Um, I also do other sort of art forms and stuff. I love playing games on my Amiga, of course, but uh, yeah, it's, it's fundamentally all about the artwork and the graphics. I mean, ultimately, the Amiga was a computer as well as a fantastic games machine. So, so yeah, Swag is a very friendly event. Lots of passionate people uh, with lots of amazing retro kit and stuff, which is all working to this day. So. If you guys want to find out a bit more about what I do, uh, you can find me on YouTube as Pixel Vixen. Uh, basically, just look for the P symbol. That will be me. I guess all I can say is take it away, Lama Chan. Ta da! I just love using your ego, it's fantastic. Hi, I'm Keith. This is James and uh, we're at Swag today and we're trying to get James's 1200 up and working. Uh, I've got mine working and we're using mine to create the discs and format stuff to, to get James's 1200 working. Uh, I've also bought a Jaguar uh, to an Amiga show, so not sure how that works, and, but people are loving to play on it, so we've got things like Tempest. Um, this is my second visit to Swag. Uh, it's growing and it's brilliant. Um, and it's just like the old, uh, dare I say, the copy parties back in the day. So, having a great time. This is the A1200 apart, and we've just fitted a little, uh, well, an SD adapter. It connects straight to where the old hard drive was, so it gives me 8 gigabytes of space. This drive is only a mere 120 meg, so this is quite a big upgrade. And at the moment, we're just waiting for the compact, uh, well, the SD card to finish formatting, and it's taking forever. So I'm Colin from Let's Talk Retro, and uh, this is my second time at SWAG, and I uh, really enjoyed my first time, so I was looking forward to coming along today. Uh, today I bought my Commodore 64 game system, um, which I'm running Sam's Journey on, which is a great new game if you've uh, not played that for the Commodore 64. Um, I've also brought along my little Amiga um, portable setup, as I call it. Um, it's basically a Commodore, uh, basically a Raspberry Pi uh, touchscreen, something that's touchscreen, a Raspberry Pi in the back of a case. So it's all one case all together. Uh, it's running Amiibian, which is uh, like a distribution for the Amiga on the Pi. i um, also got these little speakers that uh, run via the USB, so and it's all running off this rough power battery pack here at the back. Hello there, I just brought along a very small setup today to demo some of the music I wrote back from 1991-95 using my old trusty Amiga 1200, not the one shown here though. Uh, after releasing a couple of Amiga demos in 92, a lot of these tunes and remixes I wrote was able to get played in local nightclubs back in the day, which for me was a great foot in the door when you're only 19 years old. From these humble beginnings, using ProTrack on a standard Amiga 500 with only half a mega chip RAM available for samples, to all the way to getting a record contract and vinyl releases from 1998 to 2006 was, for someone who couldn't even play music, rather also I thought. Uh, the first 12 inch release was actually dead on the Amiga 1200 in 1995 and remixed for the final release in 98. Uh, using just Octomed 5 and a small array of second hand synths I got by trawling through the yellow pages every week, or free ads as they were called back then. No eBay that back in the day there. I still got loads of fond memories using this Amiga. 
And weirdly, with the technology now that's around with maximum quality sampling and effects for everyone, just inside your standard PC, back in the early 90s, we would dream of that and we just made do with the limitations of 8-bit 22 kHz sampling on four mono channels. I'm pretty sure I'm still going to be using my Amiga for some sampling in my new projects coming next year. It's just got that nice gritty sound with a unique quality of its own. And as Car Park Cat keeps an eye on proceedings, the event draws to a close. A wonderful event as always, I was made to feel as welcome as ever, as everyone is who turns up, old or new, um, it's a great and very welcoming event. Now I hope you don't mind me not narrating over that, I just thought the sights, the sounds and the voices that were there did more than enough to give you an insight into what it's all about and to convey the passion of the people. People like the two Chrises with their animation studio and music setup, and Vicky with her pixel art and everyone else who was there. They go to great lengths, they get there early to set up and to be ready for 10am. It's no small feat setting up an entire music studio, I'll tell you. And then it runs through to 10pm, so it's a long old day, they put the hours in. And Vicky was doubly rewarded for her efforts by winning the raffle. She took home an Amiga 1200, a fully recapped Amiga 1200, so well done Vicky, it went to a very deserving winner. If swag takes your fancy, don't be deterred if you're nowhere near Bristol or if indeed you're not even in the country. Take heart from this, there are people like this all over the world. I guarantee if you take a quick look on Facebook, you'll find a local group of people just like this willing to share their passions with you that you can be involved in and they will welcome you with open arms. And in the slim chance that there isn't one near you, build it and they will come. I guarantee you, the people are out there, they will come and they will share your passions with you. All you need is an empty hall or space and you can get started. As always, I hope you enjoyed today's road trip. See you next time and take care. If you enjoy my content and would like to toss a coin into the hat to support the cave, then check out patreon.com forward slash retro man cave and join the official cave dwellers you can see on the screen now. Thank you for your support.